what's up YouTube you checking out the frequent flyer if you're returning welcome back to the channel this is my quick review of the HGL RC XJB 145 now if you're a frequent flyer like me and you've been checking up and looking at all the videos on these things you'll know that this one has been appearing a lot and a lot of people are saying a lot of good things about this quad I have more good things to say about this quad. This thing is a really nice flyer. It's awesome. It comes with different props, but I think this is the best prop configuration for it. These are the Gem Fan 3052s. They're really aggressively pitched, but they have this little point on the end. I don't know what that does, but it seems like it does something with the disturbance of the air and makes this thing fly a little more efficient. It has a really nice punch out on it. Especially on the high end, it seems like it's really nice. Not a lot of vibrations or anything. This thing is a really nice flyer with these props. It's a really nice match. Now, it comes with the DYS 3045 props. And if you don't want to go with these props, you can stick with the stock props. It's still a really nice flyer with the stock props. Loads of power, great punch. It's really got a nice punch out even on 3S. And I've been flying it with this even. This is a 850 milliamp hour GNB 3S battery. It's 80C, 80C to 160C burst, I think it is. And this is a really nice pack too to fly with this. But this thing just have loads of power. I'm surprised by how much punch out it has even on 3S. This has just about as much punch out as the Furry B X140 does on 4S. The 140 could be on 4S and this can be on 3S and still have the same amount of punch as the Furby X140. And I think the reason behind that is these motors. They're HGL RC branded and they're 1407 3600 KV motors. So really a more beefier motor than the one that comes on the Furry B X140. And it's also a higher KV. I think the motors on the Furry B X140 are only 3100 KV, whereas these are 3600 KV. This is the Furry B X140. I really like this one too. This is a really nice copter, but this one is just a little better and everything it seems like the can I think I like the camera on this one a little better they both have micro CCD cameras so this one has a all black one it seems like it might be a clone of the Fox here one but I'm not sure one of the things that I can see that's different on this one than the run cam is the lens it seems like it's a lot shorter than the lens on the run cam micro swift but performs just as well it has a switchable VTX and it has a buzzer. It has LEDs that's programmable on there. It has OSD. It has all the bells and whistles ticked. Really nice quad here. All in all, it's an awesome flyer. I definitely recommend it. Probably the best in its class is the HGL RC XJB 145. So check it out, this is the XJB on 3S. <laughs> and so it's about equivalent to the Furry B X140. It has as much punch as that does on 4S though. And this is a 3S 850 milliamp hour battery. I don't know if it's lighter than a 654S. I'll have to check it out. This is a 1000 milliamp hour 3S battery from Tattoo. Let's go for a punch out. Pretty nice punch out. You can't even see the hole right now. <laughs>
can't even see it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Sheesh, I can't see it. <laughs> the brown leaves are blending in with the grass down, well, the leaves, the fallen leaves below, down here, so. Let's see if I can look from the bottom and see it. Looks like that's the hole there. Let's see what it looks like up here. Sheesh, you can't even see it. <laughs> and I have no idea which way I'm facing and I just went down <laughs> let's see if we can find it let's see if we can get up Yes, we can. Whoops. <laughs> We're over here. <clears throat> no damage on the props or anything.
this thing is loads of fun even on 3s a small 3s battery like this it's just so much fun to fly with That's the battery tapping out on us. That's our flight. XJB X145. Thanks for watching.